Hello dear students, today we are going to discuss some problems of the paper of physics from the chapter electric charges and the fields. So here we are doing some exercise problems that is given in your NCRT text and we can go through our first question that is what is the force between two small charged spheres having charges of 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb placed at 30 centimeter apart in air. So this is the question. So we have two charge spheres and each of having charges 2 into 10 days to minus 7 and other one is 3 into 10 days to minus 7. And we have to find what is the force acting between them and they are separated of a distance of 30 centimeters in air. So we can consider this as two spheres okay. they are separated by a distance 30 centimeters and Q1 that is charge of first sphere is 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and the second one is 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb. So you can just put it as q1 and q2. So the given things are q1 is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb, q2 is equal to 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 coulomb and the separation between them is 30 centimeter that is not an SI unit so you have to convert that into meters. So 30 centimeter means 0.3 meter. So that's like this. Uh, one centimeter is equal to one by hundred meters. So 30 centimeter is equal to 30 by hundred meters, or you can just write 0.3 meters. Now we have to find the force. So from the Coulomb's law. You can find F is equal to or the force is directly proportional to product of charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them. Mm. And it is given that the medium is air or you can just consider this as free space. Mm. So when we can replace this as F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 by R square. Mm. And the value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. Mm. 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 when you substitute uh, in this case all the terms are constants 4 is constant pi is constant epsilon 0 is permittivity of free space uh, and when you substitute all these values you can just write this as 9 into 10 days to 9 newton meter square per coulomb square that is the value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 so we are substituting that 1 by uh, 4 pi epsilon 0 instead of that 9 into 10 days to 9 and instead of q1 just put 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 and q2 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 and by r which is 0.3 square okay so when you substitute those values we can we can write this as like this 9 into 10 raised to uh, 10 sorry 10 raised to 9 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 by 0.3 is can be written as 3 into 10 raised to minus 1 whole square. So this is again like this 9 into 10 raised to 9, 2 into 10 raised to minus 7, 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 by 3 square is 9, 10 raised to minus 1 square is 10 raised to minus 2. So you can just cut this values of 9 on both sides. Okay. And uh, look at the remaining terms you can find this 2 into 3 that is 
here we have two terms 2 and 3 so 2 into 3 is equal to 6 now look at the 10 case 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 7 10 raised to minus 7 and 10 raised to minus 2 hmm. so this can be written as uh, 10 raised to 9 is there hmm. I'm just writing 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 7 10 raised to minus 7 by 10 raised to minus 2 okay so in these terms you can just write 10 raised to 9 minus 14 by 10 raised to minus 2 so this is 10 raised to minus 5 by 10 raised to minus 2 or you can just write 10 raised to minus 3 okay. so this is the value of uh, the whole terms having the powers 10 okay, on the order of 10 so it just like this is equal to 10 raised to uh, instead of all this term just you can write 10 raised to minus 3 so f is equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 newton so this is our force and we have to check what is the nature of this force and here look at that both charges are just taken as positive or given as positive 2 into 10 raised to minus 7 and 3 into 10 raised to minus 7 hence the force will be repulsive in nature okay so this will be a repulsive force okay so this is a first question of exercise and now we can move to the second question the second question is like this the electrostatic force on a small sphere of charge 0.4 micro coulomb due to another sphere of charge 10 days to minus 8 coulomb sorry uh, there was a mistake in this value that's like this 0 0.8 micro coulomb is minus 0 0.8 micro coulomb in air is 0 0.2 newton we have two sub parts for this question first one what is the distance between two spheres and second one what is the force on the second sphere due to first okay so in this case the given question is like this there is a electrostatic force acting on a small sphere of charge 0.4 micro coulomb so when we are dealing with the solution of this question we can take q1 one of the charges 0.4 micro coulomb 0.4 micro coulomb is nothing but 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulombs and the second charge is given by minus 0 0.8 micro coulomb or you can just write minus 0 0.8 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulombs because we want to convert uh, all these charges into the SI units okay. and the force is given okay when we are taking the medium as air the force is just 0.2 Newton okay so here we have to we have two parts of the questions first part we have to find what is the distance between two spheres okay. so first of all we can go with the first part we have to find what is r distance between two spheres is what is r so for that we are just taking the basic relation of coulomb's law 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by r square from this take this r square to the left and f to the right so that we can rearrange this equation as r square is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 by f okay 
so we know the value from the previous problem it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 9 into 10 days to 9 q1 is here q1 is 0 0.4 into 10 days to minus 6 q2 is minus 0 0.8 into 10 days to minus 6 and f f is 0 0.2 newton okay so these are the values given in this question so when you go through this we are just writing this point 2 and point 4 is there so it should be two times so 2 into point 8 is 1.6 1.6 into 9 so just we can go through this values 9 is there 2 is there 0.8 is there. So, 0.8 into 2 is 1.6, 1.6 into 9 is 144, sorry, 14.4. Hmm. So, the value is 14.4. Okay. 10 days to 9 is there, 10 days to minus 6 is there, 10 days to minus 6 is there. Hmm. So, 10 days to 9 minus 12. Hmm. So, 14.4 into 10 days to minus 3 will be there. So, or you can just write this is as r square is equal to 144 into 10 days to minus 4 that is r square and we have to find the value of r which should be equal to root of this value 144 into 10 days to minus 4 root of so root of 144 is 12 and 10 root of 10 days to minus 4 is 10, 10 days to minus 2 meter so 12 into 10 days to minus 2 meter or you can just write 0 0.12 meters is the distance between two spheres. So, this is the first part of the question and second part is what is the force on second sphere due to first. So, here the second part is so easy because uh, in the case of Coulomb's law the two charges are uh, interacting with same force. So, both spheres are attract with each other with the same force hence the second force on the second sphere due to first is also 0.2 Newton. Okay. So, forces on both charges are same. Therefore, force on second charge due to first is 0 0.2 Newton itself. Since one of the both of the charges are opposite in sign that is one is positive and other is negative then the nature of force is attractive okay so this is our second question from the chapter electric charges and fields thank you